Hello everyone, Mario the Pie Man here with yet more Wing Commander 3. Yes, it's almost like I recorded a couple of videos in a row, um, which I did. Um, so, uh, for those who came in late, or indeed for those uh, coming back to this series, uh, we are at war with Space Lions. Um, various plans will go on, but the big revelations from last episode I think are probably the best place to start. If you're wanting all the stuff that's happened so far, watch the other videos, they need the, the views. Um, but for this one, we had two big revelations in the last video. I know, you were spoiled. Totally spoiled in the last video. So, um, the first one was that uh, we have another plan um, to basically destroy the Korathi's homeworld, because apparently we're the good guys, and that's the good guy thing to do, is kill literally billions of civilians. Anyway, our last plan to blow up their homeworld involved a fully operational Death Star, which went wrong. Um, the current plan involves more of an earthquake missile. The problem is no one's invented an earthquake missile yet. Um, but the man who apparently can do it um, is a prisoner of the Kalrathi, so we're sneaking into one of their prison planets. But, shock revelations everyone. Hobbs, the Kalrathi pilot who we'd been supporting and in general, you know, um, trying to basically make part of the crew and get everyone to accept turned out to be a traitor. He was transmitting plans the whole time. Or maybe he was a Mercurian candidate. Or maybe some other reasons, which I might even discuss during my flying if I remember. Um, he was a traitor the whole time. He killed Cobra, one of the other pilots, and flew off. We didn't follow him because we're a cool-headed pilot, not some sort of hothead. His old Christopher Blair, not young hotshot Christopher Blair. Um, so, yes, we are now carrying on with the mission, but at greater speed, because Hobbs knows the plan. So, we will carry on. Now, we did all the conversations last time, so we can jump straight into the briefing room. Yeah, I know where I'm doing this time. Well, not quite, but a little bit more. Well, this is it, Colonel. Time to extract us a scientist. Painful. Your responsibility will be to... Provide air cover for the Marines. Oh no, it's an we'll escort mission. down onto the planet and get Dr. Severin out. I know you hear this all the time, because I used to hear it all the time too. But this may be the most important mission that you'll ever fly. Here for the end of game one. I wish I had the reflexes I had ten years ago, laddie. I'd be flying in your wing. It's going to take all the self-control I have not to strap myself back into the cockpit. Oh look, I've managed. Because if we fail here... God help humanity. They really are having to dress it up to make sure that blowing up their planet doesn't seem like the baddies thing to do. Ooh, an Excalibur. Yes, please. So we're starting to get Excaliburs now. That's interesting. Boxy. Right, I suppose that sort of makes sense. We tested the prototype quite early in the game, and they're now rolling off the production line. Although I don't know when we start to pick these up, but there you go.
Okay, so I made a mistake at this last time and hopefully will not do the same. First, set all my power. Uh, trying to do something here, Chief. Right, okay. Fine. Now we're ready. Yeah, so I made a mess this last time. I was trying to work out how, so I have a really fancy walk through. And basically, there's ground targets which are meant to attack. But the game doesn't actually tell you. Also advice chasing these guys to the ground, which is a good advice. So yeah, a bit of a featureless desert this ground map, but that slows down a bit. Last time I couldn't lock onto this orange building. Well, let's see if I can't. That sounded like it was hitting.
radar anymore, so yeah, I think it's almost like these ground targets don't really show up. Aircraft right way up again, so I'm looking for those ground targets again. Let's get the aircraft first. Since that, I know I can. and are. See what these things are. Because we can't target them. That looks like some things. Oh, 
nothing else. Yay, that sounds better. My scope's clear, hopefully. No, and it crashed. Ooh. Yay. <sighs> How I changed aircraft. Oh no, it's vagabond. Long time no see, Doc. I could have used you, vagabond. To do. You know, like in the last mission. Right, we're, just, we're just leaving that there, then, are we? No one's. That Mission back. objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. <laughs> we got him, sir. But you'll never guess who landed himself in the brig. You're cleared. Oh, General Tagger wants to speak to you. Well done, Lenny. You've done us all proud. You know what you said. So that's how it's meant to go, but uh, those ground targets were not clearly marked at all. Uh, the fact that you could lock onto them is a real pain as well. But I like when the plot's moving. Slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Oh, I think we're on the final disc. So, where are we going now? Yourself with dreary day to day account. 
I cannot understand this Terran foray into the Elcor system. The attempt to free but a few prisoners. If you please, Your Majesty, I may be able to shed some light. Yes, young one. The apes took but one prisoner. His skills are technical, scientific in nature. And these skills are applied to that we did not fully explore his range of knowledge was vast we are winning the war your majesty and daily we move closer to invasion of the terran home world a vast amount has been assembled never before has there been such a mighty force never let it be forgotten it is when the foe is near vanquishing that he is most dangerous, my prince. So we've got some plot happening. So most of the cat people. Your Majesty speaks coolly and wisely. Right. First things first, we're saving because that crashed and. Whew. Is a getting on the Saberama. Let's go and see what everyone's got to say about this mission. Oh! <laughs> so we risk everything to get this one egghead they say might win the war? Although I'll believe that when I see it. And Vagabond Dex a guy? Yep. <laughs> I bet old Vagabond doesn't get out of the brig till the Karathi let him out. Well, Vagabond had his reasons. Vagabond went way too far. Well, Vagabond had his reasons. We'll just see about that. I'm gonna have a talk with the captain. Now you're awkward left. Bye. Third maniac. What I tell you about trusting a cat? No, everyone's. <laughs> Too bad Cobra had to die to get a point across. You're asking for it, man. I don't need this. You're asking yeah, let's for go. it, man. <laughs> temper, temper. You can't afford to lose any more wingmen. Oh, I love you. I want you right. I am. We're just gonna have to settle it out there. The next time you're on my wing, I might just rotate my turret. And hey, accidents happen. Ooh, I'm shaking. You know, I got a turret too, pal. We'll see. Neither of us have a turret. I thought I might have quite a few people to talk to while all this plot is happening, but no, nothing in here. Oh, and he's knocked off as well. Let's see if anyone's up in the bridge. No one on the bridge. Anyone in gunnery? Nope. They're just checking something. Phew. I had briefly worried that that was just the same footage played backwards, but the light rotates the same direction, both up and down. So, um, I guess that's us done for this time. Apologies if the video is short, I had to do that mission three times to actually get everything together. Yeah, bit of a pain. Um, so, I think I'll leave it there, but that's me. Got a couple of Wing Commander uh, videos in the bag. Hopefully, get a bit more out. Um, I have been looking at a walkthrough and um, if I can average basically more, well, if it's one mission I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine missions to go. Um, so I am going to try and get all of these in the bag at some point, uh, probably 
you know, just to let you know there's a bit more to go. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I don't know if I meant to hit that bell or ding that subscribe button. I don't know. I'm old. Um, but uh, there's, again, if you've just come in here, I'd recommend you start at the first video in the series rather than this one, but that's just me. Um, I'm not your dad. Uh, but it'll all make more sense. Um, if you want to talk to me, you can talk to me at the comments or at, at Pyman70 on Twitter. Um, that's with the capital P, capital M, and the number 70. All that remains is thanks again for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next time. But until then, bye for now. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Well, something went wrong there. Definition of disaster, eh, Colonel? Well, I got more bad news. Well, we're gonna try that one again. finally owned up to how badly the war's going. I told you this was coming, didn't I? A massive Karathi armada is threatening Earth, and we're jumping to Proxima to help hold them off. Ah, uh, no, we're not. Land. We're gonna retry that because there was something in there that I was meant to do that I didn't see. I'm not quite sure what. I'll leave this in because it might be interesting. Things look pretty grim, Colonel. Here's the situation. The Karathi are coming at us full throttle. We've fallen back to this jump point in the Proxima system because it leads straight to Earth. We can't defend this doorway. We might as well roll out the red carpet for them. I'm not going to lie to you, Colonel. We're outnumbered and outgunned. Understood, sir. I'll do my best. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck.